Hi, I'm Don Dawson. You've probably heard that workplace safety doesn't happen by accident. Today, we're going to look at a powerful tool that can build safety into your organization and how you can help. Workplace safety is too important to try and figure it out on the fly or to leave it to chance. Of course, one systematic approach to improving safety is to learn from your mistakes. When an accident happens, you can look at why it happened and introduce policies, procedures, and equipment to ensure that another one doesn't happen the same way again. But when you're trying to strengthen your organization's safety culture, you don't want to wait for trouble to occur before making improvements. That's why safety-conscious companies are taking a more proactive approach by conducting safety audits. These analyze hazards, identify strengths and weaknesses in the existing safety program, and recommend ways to improve it in the future. Everyone in your facility can contribute to making a safety audit work. Let's take a closer look at the process and what you can do to help. You can't find solutions to problems you don't know about. That's why a workplace analysis is the first step in any safety audit. It's basically a comprehensive search for hazards at your facility. A workplace analysis typically starts with a physical inspection of the work environment. It looks for general hazards in the facility, like clutter, damaged or uneven flooring, and insufficient lighting. It also examines tools and equipment to ensure that they are right for the jobs being performed and that they are in good condition. The analysis can even include assessment of the ergonomics and organization of individual workstations. In addition to a physical inspection, a workplace analysis can also examine the policies and procedures that are used at your facility because they're critical for on-the-job safety too. In most cases, your company's safety director, facility manager, or department supervisor will be responsible for conducting the analysis. But you can help them in several important ways. After all, you do your job every day. Your knowledge and opinions are important to your company's safety program. So they may request that you conduct an inspection of your own work area, tools, and equipment. And you could be asked to think about how you do your job and make any recommendations about how it could be done more safely. It's important that you immediately report any problems that you notice to your supervisor, facility manager, or company safety director. That's why they asked for your help in the first place. Another area a workplace analysis will focus on is your facility's system of controls. These are physical or procedural controls that your facility uses to minimize the hazards associated with the work you do. They are called a system of controls because they work together to protect you. None of them are meant to stand alone. They typically include administrative controls, engineering controls, and personal protective equipment. Administrative controls are the rules and procedures that are set up to make your facility as safe a place to work as possible. For example, a no smoking policy in an area that contains flammable materials is there to help prevent a fire or explosion from occurring. Minimizing exposures to hazardous materials by using shorter work shifts, or rotating work schedules is another example of the use of administrative controls. 
Engineering controls are physical control mechanisms that are in place in your facility or on your equipment that help protect you from hazards. For instance, if your work involves hazardous fumes, exhaust vents may have been installed to remove these contaminants from your work area. A safety guard on a machine is another example of an engineering control. It's there to protect you from dangerous moving parts, such as gears or sharp blades. It's important that you utilize all of the engineering controls that your facility has in place. They're there to help keep you from being injured and should never be disabled or removed. Personal Protective Equipment, PPE, is the third type of control that's used in a facility to prevent injuries. Remember that even though we put on PPE before we work, it is actually the last line of defense against injury. It's used to protect you from problems that might occur even though administrative and engineering controls are in place, not instead of them. As part of a workplace analysis, your supervisor will want to make sure that you're using the correct PPE for the work you do and using it properly. You should also examine your PPE yourself to check to see that it is in good condition. Gloves that have worn thin or cracked safety glasses will not protect you and can give you a false sense of security. While you may not have had a part in setting up the controls in your facility, it is important that everyone in your facility use them. So as part of a safety audit, you may be asked to monitor how they are